present day 25th of November Lead Code Challenge. The problem that we have in today is sum of subarray minimum. This question is a medium level question on Lead Code and I totally feel the same. Also it is based on the concept of stacks and the question may appear really difficult but it is easy and has a very important underlying concept. This is Google's favorite. A lot of my friends have been asked this question in Google interview coding rounds and I would urge you guys to understand this question fully. They usually transform this underlying concept into various problems and they keep on asking the same concept again and again. So guys, do watch this video till the very end. Let's try and understand the problem first. Here in this question, you're given an array of integers. What do you need to do? You need to identify all the sub arrays that exist in this array. And then moving ahead, you need to identify the minimums in each one of them. You need to total that up and finally return that total sum. So what I'm trying to say, let's apply up to this same array. Let's create all the sub arrays that are possible. 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4. And this we have done over here. We are done with step one. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to identify the minimum across all these sub arrays. So the minimum would be three here, one here, two here, four here. The minimum would be one here. Minimum would be one here. The minimum would be two here. Minimum would be one here. Minimum would be one here. Minimum would be one here. And now we need to sum these up. One plus three. Three plus one is four. Four plus two is six. Six plus four is ten. Eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 17 is the answer. This is what the question is asking us to return. How are we going to solve this up? Let's walk through the solution now. Think similar to largest area of histogram. This is the base foundation that will help you arrive at today's solution. If you are not aware of this, I am again repeating. Guys, this is a base foundation of this question. If you are already aware of this, then you will be able to understand today's problem. So how are we applying this concept over here? Let's try and understand it. So you have to think slightly differently. Think for up till what range each element will act as the minimum. What I am trying to say, let's hypothetically assume that the current element under consideration is this one. We need to identify up till what range towards the left or towards the right this element is acting as the minimum one. So let's go ahead and apply the same concept of stacks, that the, the same one that we apply in largest area of histogram over here and identify the range up till which this element which is i get at fifth index is acting as the minimum element towards the left when i say towards the left over in this direction so it is acting as the minimum one up till the first index and this is what i have stored over here so we know that this element will act as the minimum one for this entire range so the first one is this sub array the next one is this sub array, next one is this sub array, followed by this one. Similarly, what we are going to do, we'll look for the same thing towards the right. And we will identify the range up till which the current element will act as the minimum one. So this will correspond to up till over here. Uh, 6 is greater than 5, 7 is again greater than 5, 8 is again greater than 5. At ninth index, we see a lower value than this one as a result of which the, this element, uh, the ith element is acting as the minimum one up to, up to 8th index which I am just highlighted. So this is the range. So here you can see three sub arrays. The first one is this one, the second one is this one, the third one is this one. Now if I ask you how, for how many sub arrays will this element act as the minimum element? So you can generate all possibilities. It is simple. If the count over here is A, if the count here over here is B, we are going to multiply these two up. A into B. And just think for a second. In case there are four elements which are lower than this ith elements towards the left, if A is hap happens to be four and B happens to be three, then in total, how many sub arrays would be there for which this ith element will act as the minimum element. It would be nothing but 3 into 4 which is 12. Now comes the question, how can we identify up the range for which the ith element will act as the minimum element towards the right and that too towards the left. How can we do that? 
this is really simple we use the stack based approach for doing that the same one that i have been talking about in the largest area of histogram problems uh, there are plenty others too i can attach those links as well in the description where i have already explained the underlying concept so guys do give do give those videos a shot and if you have gone through this videos then everything would be crystal clear to conclude this question further let's quickly walk through the coding section the time complexity of this approach is order of n and the space complexity again is of order of n needed for creating and storing the stack in the first code we have created two arrays left min and right min left min has been initialized with minus 1 right min with have been initialized with the total number of elements that we have in the input array moving moving ahead i have created an empty stack then i have built in the right min array using monotonic stack concept if you are not aware of monotonic stacks then coding decoding sd preparation sheet based on the concept of monotonic stacks is there for you you check out this sheet and here you will find all the problems that are based on the concept of monotonic stacks in the increasing order of complexity easy medium and hard and this these are the questions guys do give them a shot it will give you enough confidence to crack any type of question that may come in google in future so let's go back to the problem and uh, this is the same concept that i have written over here similarly we clear the stack and again apply the monotonic stack concept uh, to fill in the left min array and once we have those indexes uh, one corresponding to the left min other one corresponding to the right min we identify the left length and the right length a and b values that are showcased in the presentation we do an iteration over the entire array and finally what do we do we we consider the current element as the minimum element we identify the length towards the left up till which this element is acting as a minimum element so into the length towards the right up till which this element is acting as a minimum element we multiply these two up along with the element itself with this we have considered all the cases wherein each element can act as a probable minimum element and once we are out of the loop whatever value is stored in the result will return that up so let's try and submit this up accepted uh, over to you guys uh, please maintain the consistency and in case you are interested in solving more problems of monotonic stacks or any other underlying concept that are probably as an in interview such as db backtracking try bit manipulation this sd division sheet is for you do give this sheet a try and this is must do if you have eminent interview planned very soon i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question i'm attaching this sheet link as well in the description so do check this out